Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about how we can create questionary case type in Vega through App Studio. Let's get started with the topic. Once you are logged into your environment, switch to App Studio and there you can see case type. And you click on add case type and in advance you can see questionary. This is a, one of the type of case. Now I am giving interview. Okay. And if you want to create data model and you have ready within your spreadsheet, you can give this option. Otherwise, you don't need to give this. Click next. So it will be landing up here. You can see case representative interview and questionnaire data model and user interface. And here click on add. You can see question page, logic library question page. So you can uh, select any one of this. Suppose library question page, if I select it, you can uh, search for some items that are already available. If not, uh, if you go for logic, you can see like when this is a survey and when to move to the user and all. I'm deleting it. And next is question page. In question page, you can uh, give some title to your question page and you uh, keep uh, adding uh, your questions from here and you can configure visibility conditions instructions category also from App Studio itself. And this is a drop down where you have different values. Suppose first I want to identify the person with the name. So here I can say what is your name and next uh, i want to add another question like uh, it might be a phone number going here like, what is your mobile number and here i can give like a basic check And I want to add a uh, email ID as well. I can go for email confirm your email ID. So you can see once we have added, you can see what, what would be the answer over here. I can go, I'm just giving like a create new over here. So what is a field name? Suppose uh, candidate name and click submit and this is a uh, candidate number this if you click on advanced you can see what is the maximum length and all click submit this is a candidate email id now i'm doing clicking save so if i see here in data model these three properties would be created over here so once case is configured let's see what are the rules that got created switch to dev studio and you can see under case test we have interview right click click open and you can see the processes over here and these are OTB case word actions that got added and go to stages and you can see questionnaire and you can see which process has been configured over here it is P by administrator survey in this P by administrator survey uh, so you know this is a questionnaire case type in previous versions of Pega, people used to call it as screen flow. So both are same, but here we are having some more additional options provided by Pega compared to the earlier versions. And if you click on plus, you can see only limited flow shapes. You can see split first away and all the other things over here. And now you have this start shape, where on the start shape, you can see some harnesses over here. For questionnaire type, we will be configuring routing logic and harness type on the start shape only you can see this and routing logic also over here suppose we have different uh, sets of questions over here for example 
I'm going here. So here I'm. I want to add another set of questions. Like uh, uh, here, I'm giving some experience. I'm clicking save over here. I'm going to this flow. I'm doing actions refresh. You can see this. This is the second question. Now, after this first uh, questions have been answered by the user, you want to set some status over here. You can go here and you can update work status. And not only that, normally for sub process, we will be seeing a option to add another flow, but this is a questionary type of case, right? That's why you can see question page. You can open this question page and you can check uh, if you want to give some instructions you can pass on over here or if you want to add some more questions you can see over here and there is something called as complex collection as well you play around this and just i'm going one step backward over here and uh, suppose for a naive user or for an agent if you want to display this particular basic information for managers you don't want to uh, display this you can play around that with uh, display when rule over here and these are the basic uh, navigation links that we will be providing to the user cancel and you can see this is the question page 3 and you can use this question page 3 in whatever flows you want. So reusability also there. This is one of the questionnaire type and if there is another questionnaire type where you want to reuse the same questions, you can configure that by calling that question type over here. And uh, here you can see you can't call any flow actions or something like that. This is just a connector. And if you want to add some proper set properties, you can add that. And if you want to pass on some audit notes, you can do it. And parameters, design. You can see flow wide actions only we can give. And uh, this category is screen flow. Even though Pega has named case up as questionary, the category of the flow is still screen flow. And now I'm going here and I want to show you how this behaves. Click save and run. So uh, I'm giving some values over here. There are no validations check over here because uh, it's just configured like that. Click next. You can see experience as I did not add any field types over here. And you can see navigation links back and next are provided. So in this way, screen flow, alias, questionary case type, uh, you can explore in Pega. Thanks for watching. I explore more in Pega. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and share, like, comment my videos.